In the electric system, the balance between power generation and loads must be guaranteed all the time. If not met, serious consequences such as blackouts may occur. The balance between generation and load is met by controlling the frequency of the system. The frequency stability is one of three criteria which have to be met all the time in order to keep the system stable. If the load exceeds the power supplied by the generation, the system frequency will be slowed down and vice versa. It is like a car where the force of the brakes exceeds the torque of the motor. The equilibrium is met by a sophisticated and decentralized control system. On my homepage there is a very simple model attached, you can run it so you can train your skills as an operator. The model consists of a power generation, it's just one phase, then a variable load consisting of one fixed load and a second load which is connected and disconnected by means of a random switch. In order to operate it, you first put the infinite load to yellow, then you push the green arrow button, you relocate the curves, then you adjust the position of the frequency meter and then you start to quickly push the power up so that the, the frequency of the system comes back to 50 Hz where it should be. So you see, then you push up and down this arrow here, and then you can compensate for the changes in the load, which is with this random switch. Okay. Play the operator's game. The frequency control is performed as follows. After a change of the load or a loss of generation, there are three consecutive phases. The first phase, phase one, is immediate, and in this phase, the demand is met by, <coughs> by using the stored uh, energy in the rotating mass of the generation involved. Or, uh, if the generation exceeds the load, uh, the, the energy produced is stored in the rotating masses, that means the rotation speed is accelerating. The frequency goes up. In a second phase, there is a very local uh, generation control. It's the so-called droop, which is opening or, or closing the valves, for example, for uh, of steam engines or of uh, hydropower plants. In the third phase, uh, there is a regional control system which controls the droop settings of the generators. And with this regional control, uh, the region can fully meet uh, the frequency, the nominal frequency. In the fourth phase, uh, there is maybe additional generation, which has to be uh, set up and connected or disconnected to the grid. In the previous exercise, we have seen that it was quite tough to control the frequency manually, and therefore we want to have some support now by this so-called droop of the generator. You see that there is a push button here. You can click it and then you get some con support to control the speed of the generator. Again, you go here and you see now that the frequency remains relatively close to the nominal, even with the change in the load. And so the only thing you have to do now is to adjust the frequency manually. This would normally be done by the automatic grid controller. And you see that it's now much, much easier. So you switch on the droop and then you have much less stress. Today, the power system is uh, starting to be quite complex. So you see typical uh, demand patterns uh, during three different weeks uh, of a year. Uh, you see the seven days per week and you see the, how the daily uh, pattern uh, works all across the week. It's very similar uh, during all the days in the year. Uh, however, there is uh, some changes in the maximum and minima. What is difficult today more and more is that uh, the power generation is less and less controllable. So the, because there is more and more renewable power which feeds power into the grid and the renewable power, as we all know, is not that well controllable. The wind blows or it doesn't blow uh, when you need the power 
and therefore the storage is more and more important and the grid connections is more and more important. If you go to my home page uh, you can play around with the generation and uh, gradually learn to be a very good grid operator.